Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, Veronica. I'm fine, thank you. What about you? Are you okay? Are you good? Okay. Okay, today is Wednesday. Adriana Beatriz. Ana Mercedes. Claribel Esmeralda. Daniel Oswaldo. Present. Okay. Dora Stephanie. Present. Excellent. Eloisa Abigail. Present. Great. Gloria Elizabeth. Henry Oswaldo. Present. Okay. Jacqueline Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Jonathan Humberto. Jose Angel. Present. Excellent. Okay, Jonathan. Yeah. Okay, Victor. Okay, Jonathan and Victor. Okay, got it. Adriana present. Okay, Adriana. Adriana Beatriz. Okay. Catherine Stephanie. Kimberly Natalie. Present. Excellent. Lorena Araceli. Lourdes Paola. No. Mario Antonio. Present. Okay. Marvin Alberto. No. Um, Romeo Antonio. Present. Okay. Ruth del Carmen. Present teacher. Excellent. And Veronica Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, Victor Manuel. Him Xiomara Judith. Xiomara. And Catherine Aviles. Present. Okay. Muy bien. 
Today we are going to finish section three. Okay, we have one last topic to complete. And I think we have enough time to um, check the, the middle term. Remember for tomorrow, you have to finish section three and the middle term. So you have to work on it. Si aún les hace falta o si tienen mm, una nota abajo del 80, you have to do it again. Okay, you have another opportunity to correct your answers. Okay, vamos a iniciar entonces. With, ah, we have a conversation that is missing. Okay, it's missing a conversation. here hi everyone it's great the student yes I'm teaching math to a conversation title that's exciting let's listen and practice Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how... Okay. So, here we have... A the conversation we are going to practice so first of all do you have questions about vocabulary words pronunciation no okay so i need to volunteers to model the conversation Me teacher. Okay, Anna, thank you. Me. Okay. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, thank you, excellent, great. Okay, what do you think is the meaning of terrific? It is that the students are terrific. What do you think? ¿Qué significará eso? That they are bad students? Mm, no. No? No. The students um, are, uh, están aterrados. Okay. If I, do you think you are terrific students? No. <laughs> I hope this well si ven el inicio de la oración dice bueno la pregunta how do you like it okay, y la respuesta dice it's great esa es la primera afirmación y luego continúa con la misma idea que es una idea positiva the students are terrific en inglés Terrific, it doesn't have a negative meaning or a negative connotation, sino que es como son geniales, son buenísimos. 
-hmm. it, that's terrific. Okay, no, eh, nosotros lo relacionamos con algo negativo, but in English, no. It's something positive, but um, not only positive, sino que es como, o sea, super buenos. Okay, that's terrific. It's more than good. Yes? Okay. Two more volunteers, please. Me. Okay. One more. Romeo. Okay, go I know you I know you want. Uh. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. These students are terrific. How are, how are things with you? Not bad. I'm fighter fighter. No, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay, remember firefighter. Okay, firefighter. Okay. The last two, last two volunteers, please. And you are improving your pronunciation. Good job. Yes, Lorena. Good night. Okay, Lorena and Vic. Ah, no, Victor. Era el que estaba mal de la garganta, verdad? Eh, Marvin. Okay. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have. A new job? Uh, yes, Lorena. Yes, I am teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? How are things with you? No bad. I'm fired now. You know. That's it. Yes. Yes. By it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, yes. Muy bien, hay que seguir practicando firefighter. Okay, fire es fuego. Fire and fighter, firefighter. And exciting, exciting. And that's it. Okay, questions about this conversation? No? Okay, entonces vamos a ver the placement of adjectives. Okay, first, what is an adjective? Okay, an adjective, it's a word that describes the noun. Ok, eh, sabemos que los nouns pueden ser people, eh, places, things, eh, countries, okay. casi cualquier cosa. Ok, a noun. And uh, the adjective will give us more information about that noun. Entonces, it's going to add information. 
Okay, it's going to say something about that noun. Eso es lo que haría un adjective. Y aquí vamos a ver que tiene, bueno, vamos a ver dos posiciones. Here. Primero tenemos el verb to be plus an adjective. Okay, que lo tenemos y ahí tenemos some examples. Okay, tenemos is, que sería nuestro verb to be, dangerous. Ok, el, el verb to be nos va a servir de link o de puente para el noun, que en este caso sería firefighter's job, que okay, no en sí la persona sino que the job, el trabajo. Entonces usted debe tener cuidado de identificar correctamente cuál es el noun del que se está añadiendo información para poder usar correctamente el verb to be. En este caso, como es un job, okay, se va a hablar del trabajo del firefighter. Entonces vamos a utilizar el verb is. Okay, pero también saben que podemos utilizar los otros que hemos visto. And eh, también tenemos por acá, miren, el uso del apóstrofe es, de possessives, de possessives. Y entonces usamos possessive a doctor's job, el trabajo del doctor o de un doctor. A doctor's job is stressful. El is nos une para poder dar lugar a la información que va a reforzar nuestro noun. ¿Ok? ¿Qué cómo es? Ah, es stressful. Es stressful. Ok, eso sería para B plus adjective. Luego tenemos también la siguiente posición que sería un adjective primero and then a noun. Ok, que ya establecimos cuáles pueden ser nouns. Y nos quedaría de la siguiente manera. A firefighter has a dangerous job. Y okay, siempre tenemos el job y el adjective que van a ir, en este caso, juntos. Sin ninguna otra palabra de intermedio. Okay, dangerous job. A stressful job. Ok. And... Let's see. Aquí no necesita nada porque va directamente relacionado, ¿verdad? So we, we don't need to write a verb to be or something porque como las palabras van juntas sabemos que está modificando a la siguiente. Okay, dangerous job, stressful job, um, happy, um, happy class. Entonces va el adjetivo está de una sola vez ligado al noun. Luego tenemos también que al inicio vamos a iniciar con a si nuestro noun o si la siguiente palabra empieza con consonante. A fight fighter. En, a doctors. Pero si tenemos una palabra que inicia con vowel, ya no diríamos a, sino que diríamos como. An. Okay, for example, an electrician. An engineer. Okay, porque las palabras inician con vowel. Entonces necesitamos ahí. Eh, poner el and ¿qué okay, preguntas de esta parte? ¿questions? ¿it's clear? sí, yo tengo una duda más que todo el yeah. okay. eh, con adjective plus noun siempre tiene que ir has eh, 
Yes, para el caso, bueno, no siempre, pero en los ejemplos que tenemos acá o en estos casos, sí. Pero también hay otras formas en las que podemos escribirlos. Vaya, veamos. Y por ejemplo, el que les decía de my house. Okay. My house is white. Ese sería be más adjective. Ok, ahora hagámoslo con adjective now. Mm. I have, bueno, en este caso sí vamos a agregar, I have a white house. Or, podría decir, para, para hacerlo como de otra manera, There, um, well, there is there is a white house. Okay, en su mayoría, sí, en conclusión. O sea, digamos que no es ley porque hay oraciones que no lo necesitan, pero en su mayoría sí. Okay. Ok, vamos a ver. Sí, en este caso, en los ejercicios, sí, pero digamos de manera general, eh, podríamos, eh, puede que no vaya. O sea, in general. But in this de acuerdo. Case, yes. Ok. Um, ok, more questions. No. Ok, entonces no. hagamos el ejercicio que tenemos abajo. Mm. Sería este complete. No, no es este. Lo hicimos ayer. Ah, oh, no. Estoy en la. A ver. The last one, teacher. The last one. Yes, right. Este. Ok. Mm -hmm. Write each sentence in a different way. Y tenemos the example, a doctor's job, it's interesting. Or a doctor has an interesting job. Okay, number two, a police officer's job is dangerous. Okay, tell me another way to say it. Yes. ¿De qué otra forma lo podemos decir? A police officer has a dangerous job. A police officer has a dangerous job. Ok. Vamos con la number three. A teacher's job is stressful. ¿Qué okay, los demás? Hello. A teacher has has a stressful job. Job. Okay. A teacher has a stressful job. Key number four. A plumber's job is boring. Otra forma de decirlo. Has a boring job. A boring job. Okay. A plumber has a boring job. 
Vamos con an electrician's job is difficult. Uh -huh. Dora. An electrician. Yes. Has a difficult job. Okay, an electrician has a difficult job. And the last one, number six, a vendor's job is easy. A vendor has a easy job. Okay, a vendor has an easy job. Okay, excellent. Muy bien. Then we have the reading. Questions? Questions so far? Si no, vamos a hacer algunos ejercicios prácticos. No questions? Okay, a teacher has a stressful job. I'm no making sure has a difficult job. Okay. Let's see. Then we have the reading. Muy bien, hagamos. Okay, this part, you're going to give me examples. We have different adjectives here. Y tenemos boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, Restful. and stressful. Y entonces van a hacer una oración, or you are going to think in a sentence using the adjective, que what I'm going to give you. Que yo le voy a dar un adjective, you are going to create your own sentence. Y otro compañero va a decir esa misma oración, but in a different way. Ok, para practicar. Yes? Yes. Muy bien. Let us start with um, Dora. Give me your sentence. ¿Sí entendieron lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Yes. Puede ser en cualquiera de las dos formas que vimos y el siguiente compañero okay. lo va a cambiar. Ah, ok. Entonces, ahorita voy a decir una. Um, a taxi driver job is exciting. A taxi driver's job is exciting. Is exciting. Hold on. Is exciting. Is exciting. Okay, vamos a ver. Dora, can you tell me the same sentence in a different way for please? Uh, a taxi driver has an exciting job. Excellent. Great. Okay. A volunteer? No volunteers. Jacqueline? 
No estoy preparando el mío todavía. ¿Ah? ¿Está pensando? Sí. Ok, veamos Katherine, Stephanie. Catherine. A lawyer, Joyce, Excel. A lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. Okay. Uh, y recuerda que tenemos que usar el apóstrofe S de posesivo. A lawyer's job. Yo, yo, is, 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 is stressful. Stressful. Ok. Stressful. 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 A lawyer's job is stressful. Ok. Vamos a ver, Adriana. Tell me the same sentence in another, in another way. ¿Qué dijo? Ella. A, a lawyer has a stressful job. Así era, ¿verdad? A lawyer's yes. O oh, no, le dije la respuesta. <ríe> a lawyer's job. Ya me ayudó. <ríe> yes. Repeat, please. Eh... A lo... <coughs> Perdón. <coughs> a lo... lawyer has a... a stressful job. Que a stressful or an stressful. Ah, yes, a ah, stressful. Yes. Ah, stressful. Ok. Ok, de las, Daniel, a ver, Henry. One more example, please. Ahorita lo estoy formulando. Who has another example? Nobody. Um, a counter's job is boring. Okay. An accountant. A, un contador, ¿verdad? Yes. Accountant. Okay, again. The task of an account is very stressful. Mm. Okay. Listen, tell me prim la, la primera, otra vez, con la corrección. A task. No, el que dijo la primera, yes. Oh. A, uh, a counter's job is boring. Ok. A o an. Ángel. Eh, ah. Vaya, la palabra ah. es así. Es el contador, accountant. Uh, ok. So is an accountant. Yes. Es boring, dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, Henry, the same sentence, but in another way. Porque usted me dijo excited, excited. Disculpen, no le entendí. Vaya, la misma oración que dijo Miguel la vamos a cambiar o la vamos a decir en una forma diferente. La podría repetir. Ok. Um, accountant, accountant's job is boring. 
Mm -hmm. Vamos, Henry. Uh, the accountant. An accountant. It's very stressful. No. Bye. Can I do Henry Catherine? My elaboration de Angel era an accountant. Accountant. Okay. Job is boring. Okay, Marvin. An accountant has a boring house. Joe's. <laughs> yes. An accountant has a boring. Okay, because the idea is it has to be the same. A boring job. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, one more. Volunteers. Volunteer. Mm -hmm. A singer's job is easy. Okay. Great. Can can I hacerla? Me. Okay. A singers have a easy job. Okay. En este caso, ¿cómo sería tercera persona del singular? A singer have has 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 has. Ajá. Y la lo demás. An easy job. An easy job. Excellent. Great. Y luego tenemos aquí, no aparece muy explicado, pero dice que usted puede decir o usted puede estar agree, okay, de acuerdo con lo que dijo su compañero, or you can eh, be disagree, ok, en desacuerdo. Disagree, you think different, you think It's not true or whatever. And agree is when you think the same. Okay, so we we are agree. Para este no utilizamos verb to be porque este es uno de los eh, errores que, que se cometen a veces. No decimos I am agree or mm, I am disagree. Sino que solamente decimos I agree or I disagree. Y, y entonces eso sería como cuando alguien da una opinión. We can give us uh, on, uh, our opinion or um, point of view in base of another people say. Yes. ¿Cómo sería el negativo agree, perdón? Se le cortó. Disagree. Disagree. Ok. Disagree. Ok. Um, bueno, podríamos hacerlo también. I don't agree. En este caso, recuerde que sin el verbo to be. Sin el verbo to be. O podríamos decir disagree. Cualquiera de los dos. Yes. 
Cheers. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Now. Then we have uh, the reading, the reading. Okay, read and who do you think might say the things? Okay. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop prediction and inferencing skill. Her has two jobs. She works as a waitress at her has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay. Questions about vocabulary words? Pronunciation? All good. No? By the moment, yes. Okay. The mask? Everything is clear. Okay, excellent. You are terrific students. Okay, now let's do the questions. Okay. Who do you think might say these things? Select. After I win, I take a break. John Blue. John Blue. Okay. I don't usually work in the summer. Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz. The restaurant closes late around 2 a.m. Lisa Park. Sure? Yes. Okay, because she's a waitress. After work, my feet and my arms are tired. Becky Peck. Okay, excellent. Okay, that's all of section three. So now we are going to move to the middle term. Do you have something in particular 
that you are struggling with or you have doubts or I don't know the middle term Ya lo hicieron. Recuerden que hasta aquí tenemos que tener completo hasta el middle term. El día de mañana van a revisar plataforma. Yes, I do. Ok. Yes, I do. Ok. Muy bien. So let's do the exercises. It's not too difficult. Okay, listening. I'm not sharing right. Hmm. One, I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Okay. There are three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Okay. These are, uh, there are some, well, number two. What is here? Two. Yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. There are some chairs in the living room. Living room. Okay. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. Okay. Julia needs a... Microwave. Microwave oven for the kitchen. What is missing? Oh. Okay, correct. Next, complete. Use simple present of the verbs. In number one. Does have. Does. Complete, does have. Com the complete question. Does, you, does your apartment building have an elevator? Okay, excellent. Does your apartment building have an elevator? Yes, it does. 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 Conversation two. Yes. Do the bedroom have closet? Okay. Do the bedrooms have closets? <laughs> okay. No, they don't. 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 
Ok. Next. Unscramble the sentences. Unscramble. Number one. Um, Daniel Oswaldo, number one. Mario Antonio. Eloisa Abigail. Oh my God. I have ghosts. There, uh, there isn't. Okay. There isn't. Uh -huh. A mirror in the bathroom. A mirror in the bathroom. Okay. Number two. There are no. Yes. Picture in the hall. Yes. And number three. There aren't any. Con curtains in the dining room. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Next. Select the correct words. A uh, works nurse. in a hospital. Nurse. nurse. Talks to people at a hotel. Receptionist. ¿Y de qué otra forma podríamos llamarle? Vimos también la otra forma. Front desk agent. Front. Uh -huh. Front desk agent. agent. Excellent. Agent. Sits all day. Judge. 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 Yes. Y así le pago. And a good pay. And next. No tenemos ninguno por aquí, ¿verdad? Oh, yes. <laughs> que hable ahora o calle para siempre. Number, well, select the questions to complete the conversation. I work at a restaurant. Where do you work? Where do you okay. work? Where do you work? Where do you work? He is a firefighter. Mm. What does he do? What does he do? Okay. They hate their jobs. How do how do they like their job? <laughs> yes. <laughs> how, do do they, how? how do they like their jobs? Okay. And the last. Complete the conversations. Okay, aquí tenemos lo de agree. Um, a receptionist has a relaxing job. I agree, but I think a receptionist job is safe. Okay, a singer has yes. an, an exciting. Okay, an exciting. Has an exciting job. I disagree. I think a singer's job is boring. It's boring. boring. It's boring. Como está en desacuerdo, tiene que ser el opuesto. Hay que buscar el mm -hmm. opuesto, porque el primero dijo exciting. So the opposite is boring. Okay. A flight attendant. 
has a stressful has job. And a stressful. And a stressful or a stressful? A stressful. A stressful. Okay. I agree. It. Stressful. It is. It is. Stressful. It is stressful. Yes. A cashier's job is easy. easy. I disagree. A cashier's job. Well, a cashier. That's a difficult job. That's a difficult job. Okay. okay, excellent. Muy bien, preguntas de esto. Recuerden que tienen que tener ya terminado hasta ahí, hasta ese ejercicio, hasta el middle term. Clear? Yes, yes, it's clear. Muy Thank bien. You. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Finish. Finish. Yes. Say the truth. <laughs> okay. Only let me check very quickly. Okay, Adriana Beatriz is complete. Ana Mercedes le falta the middle term. The middle term. Mm -hmm. Igual que... Se ve muy bien. Daniel is, Daniel is complete. Dora is complete. Eloisa, the fucking middle term. Y la section three. Eric... Um, Gloria, igual, the midterm, en section 3 tenemos que subir. Hay que volver, corregir y volver a hacer los ejercicios. Okay. Henry, section 3. Hay que completar o volver a realizar. Okay, Jacqueline is complete. Jonathan, it's complete. Okay, Catherine, Fartara, section three. Okay. Catherine, Jamilet, the midterm, section three. Ya, mañana le van a tomar nota de, de esto así que tienen que tener completo hasta el middle term ahora les enviaron como van ¿verdad? también ok mis. ok Only let me check Xiomara Judith Isn't here. Marvin Alberto. No. Me pareció. No. Lourdes Paola. Lorena Araceli. Here. Okay. Catherine and Stephanie. Um, Anna Mercedes. Present. Okay. Present. Okay. Claribel Esmeralda. No? Okay. Teacher, yeah. Marvin, yeah. present. Ah, Marvin. Marvin Albert. Okay. Okay, that will be all for today. 
Remember tomorrow we have the last class of the week. Okay, don't miss. And tomorrow we are going to play. We're going to play something tomorrow. Okay, so be ready, be on time and see you. See you tomorrow. Get rest. Good night. Okay, bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Have a nice night. Goodbye. Goodbye.